Hello everyone. We will start with our new topic in smart forms. That is smart style. Now, why we are creating a style and what is the significance of style? Suppose if I will show you the output of the smartphone, customer will never accept this kind of output because customer want proper alignment, proper font. Sometimes he want the coloring also. So these, all these things customer want. Suppose customer is saying, I want this particular thing in bold. I want this particular thing in italic or underline. I want a proper font of 12, 14, 16. I want a specific color, suppose red color, green color, yellow color. Suppose customer is saying, I want red, right alignment, left alignment, center alignment. So that all things we can achieve through smart style topic. So with the help of style, you can give proper font, you can go for proper bold, italic, underlined, right aligned, left aligned, centered aligned. You can choose colors also. So to give a proper, proper alignment to the output or to make the output better, we will always make use of style. We will take a requirement and we will create a smart style for the same. Suppose customer is saying order number should be in bold and it has a font of 10. Suppose customer is saying header details and item details should be in bold and font of 60. This is the requirement from the customer. Suppose order number font 10 bold header details item details font 16 bold. Now we will see how to achieve this requirement through smart style topic. Now you can create a style through smart form transaction code also. You can go to smart forms transaction code. You can choose the radio button style and you can create. Or you can directly go to which transaction code smart styles. Smart styles is a transaction code to create a smart style. If you are going through smart forms also, ultimately it is navigating to smart style transaction code. Now I will give some name to the style. Smart styles is a transaction code to create a style. I will give some name to the style. And I will click on to create button. I will give some description to the style order style. Now for every individual requirement, I will create a paragraph format. If you remember in the past, we talked about default paragraph format. That is star. We have a default paragraph format. And at that time, I told you that in the future, we will get a chance to create our own paragraph format. At that time, always we have the star default paragraph format. Now we will create our own paragraph format. One paragraph format for bold 10. One paragraph format for bold 60 how to create. I simply right click on the paragraph format in the smart style transaction code, create node. Suppose I'm giving some two character names, suppose AF. 
I will write suppose format for order number. Now you can choose the alignment left, justified, centered, right, whatever you want. Now I'm creating a paragraph format for font size 10. I will choose the font family. When we know times is the most popular family. Font style. I can go for bold because I want bold. You can choose underline depends upon the requirement and you can give the color also if customer requires some color. So I created a paragraph format which has a font of 10 and bold. Similarly, I will create another paragraph format. Suppose HF. It is format for header and item details. I will go for font tag. I will choose the font family times. Font size, now this time 16. Font style, suppose bold. So I created two paragraph format, two different paragraph format because one time I want a font of 10, another time I want a font of 16. Now I will come to header data. It is compulsory to pass the header data because if you will not pass the header data, you will get a syntax error. It will simply, firstly I will save this. It will simply tell you have to fill the header data. Now, if I will show you the header data, whatever the paragraph formats we created, all those are coming in the drop down. You can choose any one out of them. And whenever we will use this in smart form, I will tell you why, why header data is important. I will choose suppose AF in the header data. Anyone you can pass in the header data. Now my smart style is active. I created a style with the help of transaction code smart style. And I created two paragraph format in that one for font of 10 one for the font of 16 and out of that one we used in the header data. Now, how to use this in the smartphone? How we can use the smart style in the smartphone? I will go to my smartphone. This is my smartphone. Now, I will firstly, firstly go for order number because firstly, I want to convert order number into bold and font of 10. So choose that particular text where you are displaying the order number. Go to output options and pass the name of the style which you created. This is the style which we created. Similarly, go to your header details label. Pass the style there also. Similarly, go to your item details label and assign the style there also. And activate the smart. Now, if I will show you the output, we only, only pass the style as of now. And you can see order number is 
in bold header details is in bold item details is in bold and if you see the font is 10 10 now the question comes we only only pass the style how how the paragraph format applied to that how how because you passed one paragraph format in the header data af you choose what is the af what is the size of what is the font of af 10 you only only pass the style you only choose the style in the smart form so what happened whatever the paragraph format you choose in the header data it applies everywhere it applies everywhere so whenever you are passing the style based upon the style whatever is in the header data it will convert based upon that. But this is not our requirement. We want order number font 10, header and item details font 16. So in that case, after passing the style, you have to assign the dedicated paragraph format. If you are not assigning, it will take whatever is in the header data. Or you can understand in that way also header data is the default paragraph format which will apply if you are not choosing any paragraph format. But we will pass the paragraph format. How to pass? I will go to order number label first. Editor go to change editor how to pass the paragraph format a f because a f is a paragraph format for bold and font 10. similarly i will go to header details now i will go to change editor now this is h f bold and font 16 similarly we will go for item details go to change editor h f so this is the way how you can assign the paragraph format firstly pass the style and then assign the dedicated paragraph format i will activate my smart now, if I will show you the output through the program. Now, you can see order number bold 10, header and item details bold 60. So, this is the way how you can make use of style, create a style with the help of smart style transaction code create dedicated paragraph formats and assign in the smartphone so that's it in this particular video thank you